<laughs> you bad. are back watching In the Can, and joining me now would be the son and nephew of the one and only Miles Davis, great American artist and jazz pioneer. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, come talk to us here at Park City Television. Glad right. to be here. Thanks for having us. All right, so. Miles Davis, The Birth of Cool, that was directed by Stanley Nelson, and he's been here numerous times with his work. And why don't you give us an overview of what this documentary captures, especially with your father? An overview? Well, uh, <clears throat> it's 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 a you know it's a definitive documentary about his life, but it's you know it it's hard to take somebody's life who's had such an extensive career. In, in music and uh, you know other art forms and kind of condense it into 90 minutes but yeah. Stanley you know did a wonderful job he, he picked some of the things he felt were the most important things to discuss time periods relationships things like that and he brought in some great uh, some of his old side men his ex-wives you know <laughs> a lot of it's, it's gonna be great Great. And now I understand there's actually archival footage never seen before. Mm -hmm. What was that process like? Kind of, you know, looking back at some of that and and you know just just kind of that time capsule and digging it up. Well, it was just reaching back and and we didn't know which archival footage that, that Stanley was going to use until we saw the uh, the movie. So it was pretty pretty. Um, it was like a wow factor to see that. Yeah. You know, for him to, to find it and, and put it into the. Uh, yeah, and when cool. watching it, what were some of the emotions that were brought up, or maybe things that you didn't necessarily know about your father, right, your uncle, that that was surprising without giving anything away? Well, I, w I don't wouldn't say there's anything I didn't really know, but just revisiting some of the, uh, you know, the time periods and and um, you know, I got a little emotional at the end, uh, just watching some of his last performances and things like that, and I was thinking about all the time. Vince, Vince and I lived with him in Malibu, so thinking about all those times. And <clears throat> it was just a great experience to see it all again. And what about you, Vince? Well, you know, my, my whole thing was it being that it captured the essence of a man who changed the course of music four or five different times in his career, and, and Stanley nailed it. And we, we received the the uh, the link like about 9:30 LA time, California PS time, Pacific time, and we looked at it and we were, were texting Stanley at four or five in the morning, like Bravo, yeah. <laughs> you know, we all were on the phone, our cousin you know, Aaron and Cheryl and I, that's Miles' daughter, and we we love it. You know, we're very proud of it. Yeah, we think he nailed it. If you could describe that essence of Miles Davis in three words. Three words. Three words. Three. They got to be really powerful words. Three words. What would what would they be? Does it have to be clean words? <laughs> <laughs> uh, For I television, mean, yes. <clears throat> three words. I mean, uh, how about never resting on laurels? That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Pushing that's, forward. Yeah. Never looking back. That's it. That's that's the three words. Now, never, never looking, looking back. Never looking yeah, back. Yeah, that's it. He was just a pioneer of his time, both with his music and ahead of his time. Ahead of his time. Yeah. Ahead of his time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We're still trying to kept, catch up. And how do you think those influences from Miles back then were were similar to the influences that kind of live on with him right now and and within the music industry and things like that as well? Because I understand he's very much a collaborator, right? Um, when when that wasn't necessarily, uh, you know within the music realm just yet? Well, I mean, I think his collaborations were usually uh, either a desire to have somebody sound blend with his own or to, you know, to explore something new uh, in, in blending sounds together. So when you see those kind of things happening uh, in today's music, I, mean, I think, I think a, lot, a, lot, a lot of those artists will look back to Miles or uh, you know other other artists who are f forward thinking like that, mm -hmm. you know. And I think that that's important for up and coming musicians and established musicians. You know, just, like we said, never resting on your laurels. You know, you could do that for 50 years if you want, but I mean, what have you really done at that point? You know, you got to always try to you got to fall on your face to, to 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 figure out what 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 worked, what didn't. You know, that kind of thing. so. You know, I think that's how it's relevant now. Mm -hmm. you know? <clears throat> and and what are you expecting uh, at the premiere, which is tonight actually at 8:30 at Prospect Theater? 
We're expecting everyone to go crazy once they see it. They can just bring the Oscars there. <laughs> be fine. I mean, I mean, it's it's we're, bring it we're on proud on. of it, you know. Yeah. And sometimes when you when you when you're in a project and you're like kind of skeptical, but mm -hmm. we're really feeling strong about this. Okay. It's, it's very moving. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, and it's okay to be emotional. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have my <laughs> tissue box. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll get some more on set. And and one of my final questions uh, would be, you know, what would you say the the big takeaway or philosophy of of Miles Davis is? And then how do you kind of apply that to your life now after kind of seeing this documentary? For me, it's, it, 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 I want to push my music, our music. We write together. We write separate. We have studios, and 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 whatever we do in our life. We, we want to keep it forward, forward thinking, forward moving, you know. I, I don't want to look back. I don't want to think about the past. I want to bring in new artists and meet new artists and, and talk about what new artists are doing, you know. And in my band, I have like a DJ, a young DJ, two keyboard players, tabla, you know. It's, it's, it's keeping the, the, pushing the envelope and keeping the music alive and open, vibrant. That's what he was about. Yeah. Be in the cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that title. That's great. The birth of the cool. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for me, you know, the things I, I learned from him was, uh, you know, you have to take it seriously, but you have to be willing to experiment and, and find your own voice uh, instead mm -hmm. of just kind of like, you know, it's a fine to, I think everybody starts off kind of, maybe emulating somebody they already admire, like, like oh, I really want to play like him, or I want to sound like that, or I want to have a groove like that. And then you, you, you got to go from there, though. You know, you can't just say, well, I'm going to sound like Miles Davis, and that's going to be it. You know, I want to start there, keep moving, keep experimenting, try different types of sounds, instruments, <clears throat> and, and it should never be like a closed, fixed, no parameters, like keep it open. Right. I'm gonna tell you how it rubs off on us. If, if, I, if I wanna hear something, you know, know about a new act, I call Aaron, mm -hmm. or vice versa. We, we bounce <laughs> ideas off each other, seriously, mm -hmm. you know, because he's, you know. Well, if I wanna know about anybody, a player, <laughs> a drummer, guitarist, bassist, uh, who's this guy? Oh yeah, he, he knows them. Not only he knows who they are, he knows them. So. Love <laughs> it's it. cool, it's cool. <laughs> Well, you know, I think I think that's an important note about changing, and people can't be afraid of changing, right? And and they can't mimic something that is is familiar. And I'm sure you guys are going through that as well, right? With with your own creative elements, and, and that's that's wonderful. Well, any new artist that catches your eye is always the one you want to listen to or, 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 or check out, right? Right. You know, so everybody wanted to go, come see Uncle Miles and see what he was wearing, you know, <laughs> and the, you know the band, who's in the band, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. So now look where we are, 2019. Mm -hmm. 2019 Sundance, baby. You're here. <laughs> here Miles are. Davis, Birth yeah. of the Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining for us in studio. Us. Uh, good luck with the premiere. Again, that's 830 Prospect Theater. And that wraps it for uh, this interview here on Park City Television. The legend lives on, Miles Davis.